Hey guys, welcome back. So today I am finally going to get back into some beauty related content. I know many of you have been waiting for this. So thank you for being patient with me. Uh, but yeah, realistically, I don't really do my hair and makeup that much these days. But when I do, I wanna show you guys what I do. So in this video, I'm gonna take you through my like quick mom makeup routine because I don't have a lot of time. And then I'm also gonna show you how I touch up my hair color at home in between salon appointments, super easy, and using one of my favorite products that I've talked about for years, the DP Hue Gloss. I am super excited for this video because they are sponsoring and I have been talking about this product for literally maybe four years, maybe more, I don't even know how long, but if you are an avid viewer of mine, you know I've always raved about this product. I talk about it on Instagram, I talk about, talk about it on YouTube, so I'm very excited to share with you guys how I use it because I don't think I've ever demoed it. So that's gonna be in this video if you guys are interested. Um, it's a great product, it's a semi-permanent hair color and deep conditioner and there's no harsh peroxide or ammonia so it's very gentle on your hair. It makes your hair just look very glossy, like in the name, very shiny. Uh, it enhances your hair color, makes it very like rich and vibrant and moisturizes it at the same time. So I absolutely love this product. It comes in 11 different shades and then a clear shade as well if you're not into coloring your hair and I use the shade black. So I'm gonna show you guys how to use this, then we're gonna get into my makeup routine, and yeah, let's get it started. So I already washed and towel dried my hair. You can obviously do this in the shower as well um, for the sake of this video, and because I want my results to be pretty intense, I like to do it on really towel dried hair just so the product really absorbs. If you don't want it as intense or if you don't mind like hanging out in the shower for an extended period of time, by all means do it in the shower. So I'm in my bathroom right now. If you see mess in the background, I'm really sorry, but that's just how it's gonna be. So, I look really cute. The shade that I am using, I don't know if I said this already, is the black shade. So this is not like straight up black. I have used this when my hair is a little bit lighter, the color it is now, and I've never had any issues. I just go with black because it makes my hair really deep and rich and it counteracts any brassiness. So that's why this is my preferred shade. So. Because it is black, it is super pigmented, and I am just gonna put on gloves so I don't have to worry about any kind of staining my hands. I've never had a, an issue with it staining my shower. Just, I feel like your skin is like more porous or something. And if you see me doing this on Instagram, I always wear like a really like gangster looking shirt. I'll have to like insert a picture if I can find one. But today I'm wearing just one of Tommy's sweatshirts and if he is mad about it, he can take it up with someone else. But basically all you do is you squirt it out. I like to squirt it out onto my hands and then I literally just go like this. And I like to concentrate on the root area because my natural hair color is just like a little bit lighter than what you see here and it kind of just like deepens that up. I do have some grays that you may see, you may not see, not like a ton, but this is not intended to really cover grays. So I don't really have enough at this point where that's like a huge concern of mine, but you know, if you are looking for gray coverage, this isn't really like the product that you want to use because it is a semi-permanent, you know, hair color. It's not permanent. I think gr like gray coverage can only be done with permanent products. I don't know, I'm not a hairdresser, clearly. And I have told my hairdressers in the past that I used this product and they weren't like pissed at me, so you know, ask yours, but yeah, this is what I do. I kind of just like go throughout and like massage it into the root to really, you know, saturate it. But I really like this product because it's easy. Like I said, you can do this in the shower. Sometimes I would just do it in the shower if I want like a quick little touch up and I'm not needing it like super like intense. 
and I'll just leave it on in the shower for like 10 minutes. But since I want it to be, you know, more long lasting and like deeper, I am gonna leave it on outside of the shower for like 20 minutes. So then I just take a few pumps and I'm just gonna run this through the ends of my hair. The, the mid to ends of my hair don't really like need a lot of color. I feel like it doesn't really fade there as fast, but like, especially now, like during the summertime, just like being out in the sun, like the top layer gets the most exposure. So that's where I concentrate it. And that's where like, you know, my root color is, but this is great if you have like highlights and they're getting brassy, just, you know, pick the appropriate color, something that says like cool will, you know, tone down the brassiness. Then I am just, combing through to evenly distribute you know sometimes I'm lazy and I don't do this but since this is like a tutorial we're gonna be legit you know and it helps me look slightly cuter like is it possible to look cute while you are coloring your hair because I've never experienced that in my entire life you know I'm usually wearing something really hideous I look like a drowned rat half the time. I'm just gonna like at least clip this part like up out of my face so I don't get color all over my face. You definitely wanna like wipe it off with a wipe so it doesn't stain once again. So that's pretty much it. I am just going to let this sit in my hair for like 20 minutes and then I'm gonna get in the shower, rinse it out. And you don't even really need to add a conditioner after because it is a conditioner in and of itself. But sometimes I'll just add in like a little bit of my hair mask to just do some detangling while I'm in there. But it really conditions the hair. It leaves it nice and glossy and shiny. And you guys will see that, you know, once I rinse it out and come back. So BRB. BRB. And so obviously here is the after. I styled it with my Dyson Airwrap. I do the same technique that I used in my Dyson Airwrap video years ago. It's literally the exact same. So I don't know, maybe you guys want to see an updated one, but I wanted this video to also include makeup. So we're skipping that tutorial part today, but love this product. And you can find all of the colors of the gloss on DP Hue's website. So go to dphue.com. They have 11 different shades and they also have a clear gloss as well. If you're just looking for some shine and hydration. And what else I love about like freshly colored hair is it just looks thicker. And in this postpartum journey, I'm losing a lot of hair. Luckily, I have a lot to begin with, so that's helping me. But, you know, nice, like, rich hair looks thicker. So, I'm actually going to be trying this product for the first time today. It's the Lawless Forget the Filler Line Smoothing Perfecting Cream. I am just, like, on a Lawless kick these days, so I really want to try this. Ooh feels really nice. Mmm, feels very juicy. It's supposed to be like, forget the Botox, forget the filler, so I'm excited for this. I actually got these just in the mail before this video, I have not tried them, so I guess this is gonna be kinda like a first impressions, but I got the new Makeup by Mario Concealer, and I just love his products, so. I'm gonna try one of these out today. Which one should I use? I got 200 and 180. I don't know if you can hear my baby crying downstairs. She's being tended to by um, my mother-in-law. She's down there. So if you hear her, sorry about it. I haven't been doing concealer that much lately which is kind of crazy oh this isn't as bright as i wanted it to be hmm. let's add a little bit of 180. i haven't been doing concealer that much lately which is sounds weird because obviously i'm not getting a lot of sleep these days but you know sometimes i just don't have time for a concealer but i'm gonna use it today all right so putting that all over and then I'm gonna take my, okay, so I would say that that concealer runs a little dark. 
because I believe those were both light medium shades and I have a decent tan right now so we'll see how it looks but I'm just gonna blend everything out one thing I did not expect I'm gonna be saying postpartum a lot because that's just my life right now but I have had the worst like eyebrow dandruff situation since having a baby my scalp has not been flaky really but my eyebrows and like the sides of my nose have been so just dry and flaky and i've been using noelle's cradle cap shampoo on my face and it's still not doing anything so i don't know i'm just hoping it'll go away eventually but this concealer, let's say the coverage is pretty nice and it blends out so you can like not even see it on the skin, which is very impressive. I like that. But anyways, if you see like dry patches or like flakes, just keep it to yourself. Like we don't need to comment on it because I know, I know that it's there. I'm just gonna set that with my tried and true Ilia soft focus powder. Next product I'm gonna be using today is actually a powder foundation. And since I just have like no time these days, I have been into powder foundation because it's like one less step. You don't have to set your foundation after because it's just, you know, one step. So this is the Lawless Perfecting Powder Talc-Free Skin Smoothing Powder. So this is in the shade Light Medium. And I literally just buffed this all over my face with a big fluffy brush. This brush is from Doll 10. And it just goes on really nice and smooth. I feel like it has a little bit of radiance to it. I don't know if it's going to pick up on camera. The lighting is not my favorite in here right now, but this is my first time filming in here, so we'll... We'll work on it. Then I'm gonna take a little bit of the shade light and lightly put that under my eye. So I just zoomed in a little bit for you guys if you were interested in seeing my face closer. Next, I'm gonna go in with my Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Powder. This is an all over face powder, but I love to use the shade nine for a bronzer. It just has like a nice subtle glow to it. So I'm gonna use that as my bronzer today. And obviously, you know, I didn't have to set my whole face after putting on liquid foundation, so that's why I've been kind of like gravitating towards powders lately. Another one I like is the Makeup Forever one in the nude package. It came out earlier this year, I believe. Then I'm gonna put this all down my neck. So we look like we're matching. Oh, but yeah, should I update you guys on my life? Um, Noelle is almost five months old. I don't even know what day it is, but it's just insane that it's already been five months. Like that, that's almost half a year. She is doing a lot better. She's a lot happier now, I would say. She's still a diva like very high maintenance kind of gal but she is becoming more independent like she likes to just lay down on the floor and roll around like she's rolling back and forth um she can sit like propped up kind of like tripod style and she is pretty much starting to crawl like i think she wants to crawl she gets on like all fours and like rocks back and forth and i'm like Dude, you're not even five months old. This is absurd. Like, can you just behave like a baby? Behave like a baby because this is going way too fast for me. And I I don't want to chase you around yet. I don't want you to be mobile. 
Okay, I'm just putting some of that in my crease as well. Okay. And then I put it on my nose just like this. Instead of like contouring my nose, I literally just put it on my nose like that and then a little underneath. And then I'll go back and highlight it after. But yeah, she's just growing so fast and it's it's insane. I don't understand where the time is going. The summer went by so fast and I feel like it hasn't even been nice out. Like half the country is like up in wildfire flames. Half the country is like boiling hot. And then New York is just literally cold and rainy or just rainy. And it's just been so annoying. But at the same time with Noelle, I can't really like do a ton outside because she can't like wear sunscreen so it's kind of like whatever so i also recently got this blush from dior it's called mahogany and um it's a very dark shade and i thought it'd be good for fall and i really want to try it out these uh blushes from them the rosy glow blushes are notoriously sheer so i'm hoping it doesn't look insane it might look insane in the membrane insane in the camera. um so we're gonna hope it's not too intense but we're gonna we're gonna apply it because you guys know how i am with my blush like it gets out of hand real quick okay yeah this is like a really nice like brownish berry color brownish berry color I would probably stay away from this if you don't have a tan, but you know, you do you. I'll do me. Okay. I'm gonna put it across my nose too to look really like bronzy sun. It's, it's, it's definitely like a bronze type of color. You could probably use this as a bronzer. I need a little pop of pink. So this is the blush I've been loving all summer. It's the Lawless Make Me Blush in Watermelon. It's very Barbie pink, which is clearly on trend these days. I have not seen the Barbie movie. Someone please tell me when it's coming out on streaming because I'm not going to a movie theater. I literally have not been to a movie theater in almost 10 years and I don't plan on going anytime soon. Like, no, thank you. No, thank you. But yeah, this is, yeah, watermelon from Lawless. And I do really like that. So this is just going to add a little bit of pinky brightness. I'm going to go with my tried and true Dior Backstage Face Glow Palette, shade 001. I love this palette. So I'm going to take the like champagne color and I'm going to put that on the tip of my nose and like down the center. And so that mixed with putting bronzer like all down the middle of my nose just kind of does like a quick little hot contour and highlight. And I'm just gonna pop that in my inner corner. We're not reinventing the wheel here at all in our postpartum era because I don't have time for experimentation. Like if it looks bad, I don't have time to redo it. So we gotta we gotta stick to what we know. If I'm feeling crazy, I will do a little bit of eyeshadow in my outer corner. And this is a new palette that I got. Um, I have tried this before, but this is just like a fresh new one. It's the Hypnos palette in French Nude from Lancome. And I'm just gonna take a little bit of the dark brown here and put it in my outer corner real quick. What was that noise? What was that? I'm going to take a little bit of the white and like nude color and just put that underneath my brow ever so haphazardly. I'm 
Next, I'm gonna go in and do my brows. I like to use the Makeup by Mario Master Blade brow pencil. And I really like this product because it allows me to do my brows really fast. It's a very like, I don't even know how to describe this. It's like a linear pencil. It's like a line, but like a thick line. And it just makes everything go really fast. And it's a very dry pencil which I particularly like because if I were to do this like really fast motion with a creamy pencil, it would make a huge ass mess. So then I just like turn the pencil this way and kind of like color in the front. It's really easy to get a nice straight line. And like I said, it's it's very dry, so you can just like go back and forth, you can blend it, and it's not gonna make a huge mess, which I'm a very messy person, and I need products that don't enhance the mess. Okay. So that's how I do that. I'm probably gonna fast forward this side. Then I'm gonna take some brow gel. This is the Refi Beauty soft brown brow tint it just has like a little ball brush which i don't really know if that i don't really know the point of that but i like the product and i'm just gonna use this in my brows it does a good job at taming them for the most part So I got this recently. It's the Cali Ray Surf Proof Setting Spray. This is actually really, really good. It makes it very transfer proof, which there's very few that I feel like actually accomplish that. I wouldn't say it's like 100%, but it's really good. It doesn't make my face feel dry or tight. It's just like a nice long wear setting spray and it smells like coconut. Um, does it have coconut in there? I think. It's also clean, hydrating, and long wearing, it says. But I like this. It just feels very refreshing, but also does a good job. So I'll let that dry. So next for mascara, I'm gonna use this one. It's from the, what's the brand called? Whatever the Gwen Stefani line is, it's this one. It's called Can't Stop staring packaging is super cute and i actually really like this so it has a brush like this it has a ball tip we're seeing a trend with the balls here <laughs> and then the rest is just like a traditional like spiky brush and i really like it it's, it's lengthening and lifting which is what it claims to do not super volumizing but i really prefer length and lift and then i'll just add a shit ton of it to make it volumizing <laughs> Sorry, my camera just stopped recording, but I'm curling my lashes. This is the Laura Mercier Lash Curler. If you've been wanting to try this mascara, they've had a sample size as like a beauty insider reward type thing at Sephora recently. So I got that too because I wanted it for my purse. So I really like this and it doesn't flake or smudge on me. But you'll see in one second just how nice this is. Like that's good, right? waiting for me to do makeup videos and I just don't wear makeup very often maybe like once a week so it's just not something I do a lot but when I do I pretty much always do the same thing for lip liner today I'm gonna use the Patrick Ta precision lip crayon in the shade she's bold so I really like this one again the yeah, this has a very similar type pencil as the Makeup by Mario eyebrow pencil, honestly. It's like a little rectangular crayon, and so it like fills in at the same time, which I love because I pretty much never 
wear like a lipstick, I'll just fill in with my lip liner. So we're gonna do this. I'm trying to think of when the last time I even did a beauty video was. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I think I'm gonna use the YSL Rouge Velup Candy Glaze and just like the clear one, I think. Yeah, that's nice. Do I wanna add a wing? Do I wanna add a wing? Um, just like the, the age old question. Do you want to risk it? I'm about to risk it all. For my wing, I normally use the NYX Lift and Snatch brow pen, but mine recently dried up after having it open for literally like over a year. So today I'm gonna use the Lancome Edal Ultra Precise Liner. And this is in the matte syrup brown shade. So I typically do my winged liner after mascara. I know that's really bizarre, but it kind of helps me see like where to put it once I have mascara on. So I know this is kind of weird, but I just kind of line it up with the angle of my inner tear duct and then like create invisible line and then draw it out. But this is not a product I've ever used, so hopefully it doesn't ruin my life because it has the potential. It is a felt tip, which I'm not a felt tip gal, but I would just say go with the NYX Lift and Snatch because this is it's not my favorite. I could tell you that right now. Like it feels dry. I just want to shake it, but nothing's happening. I highly do not recommend this product, no. Sorry about it. So I hate that product, but we have to move on. Pretty much done, but I'm just gonna add a little bit more blush. I'm not adding more product, just like whatever's left. Just going like right underneath my eyes to give that sunburnt look. But that is basically the whole shebang. So let me zoom out. This is the final look. This typically takes me like 15 minutes when I don't use an eyeliner that I hate. <laughs> uh, so really quick, and I would highly recommend checking out powder foundation. I don't even know if this is marketed as a powder foundation, the Lawless, but I use it as one, as you can see, I did a concealer first, then set that, but I don't always do that. You know, some days I just don't have time for that and I'm just gonna rock the dark circles, but for the most part, that is what I do when I decide to do my makeup these days. It's quick, easy, simple, but still it makes me feel very put together. And so, yeah, I hope you guys, oh my God, I've been sitting on the floor for far too long for a person of my age. Like this is painful. This is really painful. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what videos you guys wanna see next. Definitely check out the DP Hue Gloss if you're interested in you know a little DIY hair moment. This is my absolute favorite. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time.